All right. Well, our topic today is a very relevant topic of uh, it's a very important topic in DSM-5 <laughs> called being pissed off. Uh, that means uh, we are um, in a in a place of being not quite happy, correct? So, so in that service, uh, before Kathy pulls somebody else over, uh, stay here. Um, <laughs> so, what have you ever been pissed off? Yes, I was pissed off on my way to work today, actually, uh, because there were two accidents, which now I'm thinking back, I probably shouldn't have been very mad about that, but <laughs> two accidents within 200 yards of each other made me 20 minutes late to work today, and I was pissed off about that. Mm, so you wanted to be here on time. I was, wanted to. I had, my intentions were pure, but <laughs> I was pissed off. Right. So now that Kathy's calling you, you can just see what's happening, and then if your life allows you, can you can come back here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna move here to. Have you ever been pissed off? Yes. Yes, I have. Please give me description and the people that you killed. <laughs> well, as. Uh, <laughs> Being in the Pittsburgh area, I'm sure many people can understand the frustrations of uh, being on the wrong side of the tunnels. <laughs> um, That's right. <laughs> and I would routinely become pissed off, uh, wondering what is so hard about maintaining speed through tunnels. Um, <laughs> All right, wonderful. So tunnels, so with traffic congestion. Yes. Would make you not very happy. Um, I, I, I thought that there was... Uh, and this is actually a real, I cannot give the reference, in Los uh, Angeles, somebody got so very pissed off while in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in, uh, you know, in the traffic that he got his baseball bat out and start hitting the next car uh, because he was so very angry about stuck in the traffic. Um, obviously, that didn't solve the traffic issue, but at, at least he made an attempt to get that car moving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And are there times that you find yourself in a difficult situation? I think definitely, yeah. Um, for example, we've had tons and tons of snow, and I'm not exaggerating, <laughs> in the past month. My husband plows snow, and people depend on him to go out, so we get calls at 1 in the morning and he's up leaving and not coming back until 5 in the morning. And I've been pretty pissed off about, you know, <laughs> just the time and also people not appreciating that he has a life so, yeah. outside of plowing snow. Absolutely. Absolutely. So <laughs> next time those calls come in, instead of your husband responding, you can respond to right. the call. <laughs> You'll be the best customer service, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing that. But these are very important items, how we all can be frustrated for Indirect reasons as well. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. How about yourself? Uh, mine's more of a personal pissed off frustration um, when I can't fall asleep at night. Yeah. Uh, because of my mind racing with things that I, you know, agendas or things that I have to get done for the the week, okay. keep me up for hours past when I need to go to bed just to get you know sufficient sleep at night. I get pissed off. Absolutely. <laughs> Which then in turn just makes me stay up more. Yeah, right, yeah. But that's very important. So it doesn't have to be an external issue. Yeah. It could be an internal issue that we are not quite able to do what we want to do. And such as not being able to sleep and the mind is racing. You know, that that's beautiful. We'll have one more person here to check in and then after that we can <laughs> have the science and the biology behind getting pissed off. Well actually uh um more of an even keel type of individual. However, no. <laughs> let's ask somebody else about you. <laughs> Go ahead. I've been working on some, uh, doing some exposure therapy, and I've been taking. I started off with small increments of Tyler, and I've been going up to about <laughs> 45 minutes at a time, and I'm, I'm getting much better. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My so wife says the same thing. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> Very good. So, so let's understand what happened that uh, at a biological uh, level that we we behave and feel that way 
in our body, in our mind, and Tyler has, has some thoughts to share about that. Sure. So uh, to refresh from last week, um, when, when I take the osteopathic approach to the assessment of a problem and its effects on the body, we remember the four tenets of osteopathic medicine, and that is that the body, that a person is a unit, um, a holistic unit of mind, body, and spirit. Uh, secondly, that structure and function are inherently related. Mm -hmm. Third, that the body has its own uh, mechanisms to, for self-regulation and self-healing. And the fourth one is really that rational treatment, whether it's from the perspective of healthcare providers or ourselves when looking at a situation, depends on considering those three tenets that I mentioned previously. Mm -hmm. The examples that were given, a couple of them that I can just uh, use as illustration here are the being frustrated in a tunnel or in traffic mm -hmm. and the other one would be lying at, in bed at night not able to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So along the lines of the uh, structure and function of the body being related, this one is the one that I'm going to focus on primarily. When we get frustrated, there are certain behaviors and certain postures that we adopt um, that can be counterproductive if we don't nip them in the bud. Okay. One of them is sitting in traffic. Um, people often describe clenching their jaw, and that's not limited to traffic, but anything that we find frustrating. Clench the jaw, uh, clench our fists, tense up muscles that um, don't need to be tensed and serve, frankly, no purpose in getting us out of that situation. The same types of behavior at night when we get, if we get frustrated that we can't sleep. Um, we will also be getting ourselves in a mindset of, but I have to sleep. And we get into a position of, I'm going to make myself do it. <laughs> and you found that it's very effective, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These things simply... But now I never. <laughs> right. These things simply don't work, and they're counterproductive, yeah. okay? And I like to think of the body as, it, it's a constant feedback loop, both ways. So if we get anxious or frustrated or angry, we start to tense these muscles up, or if we start to threaten ourselves, like, um, I'm, mm -hmm. darn it, I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah. Well, these things don't work, because the type of feedback we give our bodies when we adopt these postures are the fight-or-flight response mm -hmm. uh, that keys up our sympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. And in lay terms, that's just your fight-or-flight response. That's the response that gets you ready to run away from a, from a danger or to prepare to fight if necessary. It's the polar opposite of the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest feature of the body. Okay, mm -hmm. And the body has a constant balance, or should have for optimum health, a, a constant balance between these two nervous systems. But by us taking the, uh, assuming the postures, the, uh, the uh, clenching of the jaw, the clenching of the fists, the uh, constant worry about getting to sleep, we tilt that balance closer to the sympathetic side, in other words, the fight or flight side, and it simply doesn't help us relax. So just a couple tools to keep things simple and, and brief here uh, for what we can do is really remember that we do have power over what sorts of feedback we're giving our own bodies. And that starts with simply acknowledging in a mindful way that, hey, I am clenching my fists. Hey, I am clenching my jaw. Hey, I am fighting myself in my own mind to make myself go to sleep, and these things don't work. So a conscious decision to relax the fists, mm -hmm. to relax the jaw, to breathe deeply. You notice how many pills are involved here, right? Zero. Zero pills. Mm -hmm. It's a, an active influence on our own bodies to calm the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautifully said. Um, you want to kind of make a statement about uh, the school that you're from uh, so that people know that it comes from a knowledge of, of of a clinician who has studied medicine. Sure, sure. So I'm currently a fourth year medical student uh, uh, at the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, uh, training to be an osteopathic family physician. And my interest uh, has always uh, been in not only the medical management or what we think of as traditional medical management of conditions, but also the simple, holistic, mm -hmm. um, uh, conservative treatments. Absolutely, that's beautiful. So, 
that's the emerging healthcare, which is dimension that's going to become the major way of us living in a healthful, mindful, and in an effective manner, rather than getting a baseball bat out <laughs> 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 and encouraging the person ahead of us. <laughs> that doesn't work, right? <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper, <but> cheaper. <laughs> so, so that's the psychology of being pissed off. Um, if you have ever been pissed off and you know how that can affect us, you can relate to uh, the time then we feel very frustrated and angered and, and uh, unhealthy and uh, unhappy. And uh, so, so maybe, I don't know if you want to kind of add, do you ever see much in the life of your counseling session where people are frustrated and or? Many people are, are frustrated, many people have anger and quite often these folks are have obsessive negative thoughts and obsessive negative self images of themselves which they project. Absolutely. I just want to kind of add to um, uh, Jim had shared with me someone who is in recovery for um, narcotics and ended up having a difficult situation with the police officer and it seemed that both the police officer and this person in recovery were both not in the wise place and that became a very unhealthy thing for the whole family um, because everybody was, some people were very angry uh, police officers are also human beings. They can also get frustrated about situations. And, and both of those become a very volatile situation that affected people and create a lot of fears. And that's what we do with uh, dialectical behavioral therapy, particularly uh, mindfulness-based. We learn how to respond rather than react to situations. Mm -hmm. And learning how to do that in real time. So thank you. So this concludes part A uh, of our um, uh, series of clinical matters as they pertain to everyday life. And it seems to me that uh, I need to do a statement here. Um, so find out more at cclear.com. Subscribe to Cclear video on YouTube for more videos. Follow us on Google plus join us live Mondays at noon hours so you can ask questions for us to answer during these discussions. Um, thank you for prompting me to make a statement, uh, Mike and the mayor. And we'll move on to our next subject matter, which is eating disorder. Ready for that? Hold there.